Okay, everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we have an awesome uh, review for you of uh, the brand new strap releases from Haviston. Now, of course, you guys may remember Haviston from a couple of different videos I've done, or if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I really enjoy these NATOs. So one of the really special things about Haviston is um, that they I feel like they really reinvented um the nato strap it, and it's not an easy task and i think what they came out with for their initial offerings were just so different um and and really just special feeling that it it really caught a lot of people's attention and it's been able to allow them to grow super fast and and kind of everything that they do they've you know now they're doing watch rolls and and all these different combinations and then updating not only the color but the layout the materials now they're expanding to so really really impressive stuff uh, a little bit about the brand they were of course uh, founded out of London in the United Kingdom they were established just in 2015 they offer high-end NATO straps designed with both functionality and ergonomics in mind so that's something that's definitely a key for me as far as this brand um, now they didn't just kind of go the easy route they they re they invented something they didn't just say hey i got a couple ideas for some colors some patterns um there they kind of did they did everything that from the way that it's packaged to the theme there's just it's it's all it's all there they're a brand they're not just a product uh which i think is great and i'm a really big fan of their brand um so Basically, we're going to be highlighting particular products today. They're going to be the their new single pass, single layer layout with upgraded materials and refined execution. So some of these patterns may look familiar to you. We'll also con uh, compare them to the originals, um, and some of them are brand new. Uh, so that's also a lot of fun. Essentially, if you wanted to get all these, you could actually buy them in two sets. Uh, there's the field set A2 for the uh, straps that you see there on the right and then on the left you could do the land and sea canvas set but let's go ahead and take a closer look okay let's go ahead and start off with the uh this m 1936a2 now you guys may remember this strap from the original release and it did look quite different as you can see i mean on camera maybe it doesn't pick up the same way but uh, you lay these next to each other in person let me tell you you can tell a big difference now not only is the color more saturated i think they also did a couple different tones you can see even the, the stitching now matches the uh outer nylon but i just look at the it almost has a reflective sheen to it and um, these these were definitely made more ruggedly versus here you just have more of a refinement. And one of those refinements in design, not just in execution, is that they do make these single pass. So now you don't have this basically other arm here to, that actually adds a little bit of extra thickness. As you can see, even the single layer of the nylon is actually quite thinner in comparison and it's not just uh, because they did less material by removing that extra strap there i'm sorry that extra basic yeah, i guess extra strap um but it's actually a thinner piece and more tightly woven more premium feeling piece uh i really enjoyed uh this strap um you know for its ruggedness but at the same time, I can enjoy this one just as much. Um, and then aesthetically, it actually is uh, much nicer to me also. I mean, just to look at the deepness and richness in the dye, the tight, the tight weaving, I mean, just super nice. And then let's go ahead and compare also the Invasion Strap, which I absolutely adore. As you can see, still, you know, we do have that nice sliding keeper and you'll notice that come into play when we put them on wrist. But, you know, the color again is just a bit more refined. The, uh, of course, the weave pattern is also much nicer, but uh, it just looks more saturated, more thick. Look at the blacks in the center and the white stripes. It just really looks like it's impregnated with these colors just 
sm almost smashed right in uh, to the threading there. Really, really nice. And then of course that thinness. Now look at, compare this in between your watch and your wrist versus this in between your watch and your wrist. It's a pretty big difference. So, you know, it's definitely as far as the way that it wears is going to be a lot different. And then here we have the canvas. We have the C model, um, which is of course this really great blue color. And we'll talk a little bit more about the inspirations of these particular strap designs, but I did want to show you some of the details here. Really, really nicely done there with the, uh, you know, everything sewn closed. And then now here you actually have a, a nice updated, very premium buckle. So as you can see, it's nicely milled out now. So super cool. This one is, you know, it's no slouch by any means, um, but because of, I think because of the holes, doesn't really need that extra. But here, I think it is nice to have the more premium uh, piece there in the buckle again, but it also still offers that same flexibility, but now uh, taking advantage of the thinner single pass design, which a lot of people actually will just cut their uh, straps to make them single pass. Uh, not the case here, it comes nicely done, everything is sealed, just gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get this uh, nice field watch from Longines uh, on one of these straps. And you can take a look at how it's going to wear. So as you can see, you're just gonna slide it through once. You can take it up to right there if you'd like. Really, now that there's not another one, uh, doesn't really matter because you don't have to worry about lining anything up from the other side perspective. And now look at that. Underneath the watch, there's just barely any thickness that's going to be added there. Just gorgeous. Then you have the sliding keeper for size wise. Just super nicely done. Let's go ahead and actually get this on wrist. Okay, as you can see, where it's just gorgeous on here, minimal, minimal thickness added between the case and me. And honestly, this watch came on a factory NATO strap from Longines. So it already kind of was compensating and, and knew there was gonna be some thickness added. But now with this strap, I mean, look at that. The sheen on it just makes it even more premium feeling. So it's just a really nice refinement there um, I really enjoyed the last you know the last style and I still will continue to wear those but this one just has an even more premium feel and you know premium is not something that is is very that you know that's not a matter of opinion this is just nicer it is it is you know objectively better done um, as far as not having that under, um, you know, that under strap, under the loop, uh, that adds a little bit more uh, thickness. You know, that might not be to everybody's tastes, but as far as everybody's, you know, wear-wise, this thing just wears extremely well. And as you can see, still relatively centered there, which is really nice. And then because we have the adjustable keeper here, I can slide it up, I can slide it down, depending on how big or small my wrist is. If I wanted to, I could slide it further down towards this end here and give it enough room to fold itself back over whatever I wanted to do. I prefer to just use it here just to kind of keep this flap from uh, sticking out too far and, and kind of duck tailing. But as you can see, really nice absolutely fantastic so big fan um let's go ahead and try out the canvas all right so as you can see now the canvas definitely has more of a breathable kind of feel to it a little bit feels a little bit lighter uh definitely so i think you know what this kind of does now which i think is really cool is before i'd say the original straps 
were kind of a mixture of these two. There was something a bit rugged about them, but there was something also refined. And now I feel like these are kind of distilled now. Having the canvas option, it gives you that nice rugged, rough around the edges, although, you know, not physically rough, but just that tough, overbuilt feeling um, versus here you're gonna have the more refined, kind of glossy, shiny, cool there. And then you have the more matted, just rough and tumble style. So really impressed. Of course, this works great. Again, uh, you know, the buckle falls wonderfully on the wrist. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It's not in some awkward position, which can happen with uh, regular NATOs at times. As you can see, the thickness added is completely minimal. Looks great on the wrist. I'm not sure which one I like better, honestly. I think visually, just to look at, I do enjoy the um, you know the the field set there with the A2 style. Um, but the land and sea, there's you know maybe not on its own. You know, sitting next to it, it's not, it's less exciting definitely. Um, but on the wrists, it just I don't know, it just has like a certain feeling of comfort and uh, breathability, I feel like, that the other strap um, is not far behind, but far enough to where I can notice it. So this thing just wears really nice, and I and I love the color palettes here, you know. Actually, I could, this would look great on the blue as well, I'm sure, because of the blued hands on uh, this piece, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? I think they really got another set of winners on their hands there. So, uh, again, let's let's go into some of the details on these straps and their designs and, and kind of where they come from, where they originate from. Um, now, the uh, this particular strap here is the uh like i mentioned before the m1936 a2 so this is based on the classic canvas tones found in the u.s military field equipment between 1943 and 1945 and honestly this these tones right here really remind me so much of uh the marine corps uh coyote um coyote green tones and also our olive drab tones uh, on, on a lot of our gear. Um, it looked very similar to this, so really nice one there. Now, um, kind of flipping that over, when you're looking at the quarter deck strap, now this is based off the 1940s uh, US Navy deck uniforms. Uh, they were in service during the Pacific theater of World War II. And it has a really nice vintage medium navy tone, which I think is really nice. And of course, would go really well with, you know, um, more sporty clothes, stuff like polos, um, jeans, uh, this, this particular tone and material. And then the nice thing is it has that cool gray stitching there. So it does have a nice little pop of contrast as well really nicely done and then uh as far as this piece here the invasion a2 strap i mean the invasion strap for me is one of my favorites i think it goes great with kind of any dark dialed watch um and their inspiration is actually the striped paint scheme applied to allied aircraft uh on the eve of the d-day invasion so really great historical reference there it wasn't just a cool color you know, scheme that they thought would look good. Um, it's actually something that actually has a bit of meaning behind it and also happens to look really good. So really nicely done there. Now, uh, this last canvas strap, the one that I'm wearing, um, is known as the 1944 C strap. Now this was based on the, uh, basically all of drab number seven found on US equipment from 19, uh, in, in 1944 it's really nice muted kind of olive green tone um so it's nice it actually is so close to brown um you could be not wearing any green whatsoever um and this would still flow really well i think uh in kind of taking a place of a brown strap uh but adding a little bit more dimension you know definitely less generic when you have a nice brown strap uh, like this and 
the olive tones on it. You know, it's greenish brown basically, and I think it looks really, really great. And then the nice thing is that more premium hardware really holds everything into place super nicely. So, you know, closing thoughts, these are super comfortable to wear. Um, they have really well thought out ergonomics, which is more than I can say for, you know, probably 90% of the uh, strap manufacturers that are out there. They really are concerned more so for what looks good, not necessarily what wears good. I think Haviston definitely hits the nail on the head within that regard. Um, it's still definitely a very rugged um, option, but it's just a lot more refined now. So that's really cool. Um, it's, it's a premium product executed to a very high level of finish, um, you know, from a new brand with an eye for military designs. Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. So if you like these straps, you like the first versions, uh, I think you're still going to enjoy these. If you passed on the first versions because you weren't crazy about the thickness that was added, I think you'll definitely be happy with these. If you thought they weren't dressy enough, boom, you got these options. If you thought they weren't rugged enough, boom, you got these options in the canvas. So really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you uh, like the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.